Yeah, just a little bit of lean is going to stop bothering me. All right, important updates of all sorts. Um, still <laughs> lying heavily on the video, folks, because it's a lot easier for me to stand up and sit down. Um, and so, since blogging, still haven't figured out how to do that completely standing. Here are the things. I was hoping, on one hand, this is bad news, good news style, I guess, <laughs> that I hadn't heard anything about my grandmother. What? No, honey, that's the plastic. No. Sorry. Okay, let me open it then. If you're going to eat it, I'd like you to not fixate yourself on the plastic part of it. Uh, oh, good grief. What happened? Uh, if you're ever wondering, people... Uh, yeah. Are, yeah, I'm opening it. If your parents really treated you differently than your younger siblings, they did. It's all true. It's all true. But I can, I'm here to correct one myth about that. It's not because they loved the little one better. Yeah. <laughs> they just didn't have the energy anymore <laughs> to fight them. Uh oh. Uh oh, honey. I'm sorry that. I'm sorry it fell from your hand. Oh. Okay, what I don't want you to do is eat those chocobo little bits. Okay. Oh, good grief. This is a nightmare. I can't pick those up. Okay, honey. No, don't eat those little bits. Eat the big one. Give me the little bit. The one in your mouth. And the other little bit. Okay. And the other little bit. Good girl. And the other little bit. Good girl. Okay, you can have the big one. Good girl. Whew, that went better than I thought. Still handicapped. Um, <laughs> that could have been <laughs> could have been trouble. Um, all right, back on track. What was I going to say? Oh, bad news. I haven't heard any updates from my grandmother, so I'm sorry that I didn't put any updates up. But I didn't get an update. My dad called me, you know, to tell me what had happened. Um, that must have been Thursday night. Friday morning, he called to tell me that he would call me later. Then never called me back. Never called me Friday. Never called me Saturday. On Sunday, yesterday, I finally called to be like, what the heck? And he acted, you know, he was acting like, no big deal. I, I, not no big deal, but like, as if he didn't realize he never called me. I don't know if maybe it's so stressful he actually didn't realize he hadn't spoken to me. I do have several brothers and sisters. But I'd like to think I'm memorable. Um, so, and I didn't have another way to, um, well, one thing, my brother was there, and I could have called him. My brother is a crazy mumbler. I mean, it's almost like a, <laughs> it's a disability in and of itself. You can't call him for anything. You can't understand what he says. I mean, it's almost hilarious. I don't know how he functions in the business world, but when he is on the phone, I mean, you, he's a super low, low fast talker. You can't hear him. And so a lot of times I'll just be like, yeah, <laughs> and agree to crazy stuff. So, um... I didn't want to call him because I didn't. I knew I wouldn't understand a word he said about what was really going on. Yeah. Anyway, I finally talked to my dad, and basically here's the deal: no improvement, not better, not worse. The thing that's worse is that my grandfather, horribly depressed and being a real downer and really pessimistic in the room with my grandmother, which is bringing her down. So they're trying to get him to do something else, I guess. Um, and when I spoke with my grandfather and found out the first time, the first night. I, he did not sound good. I feel like, I hate to say this, but, um, I mean, they're very old, obviously, and I think it's one of those things where when one goes, the next is going to be uh, following fairly shortly behind. Um, and in a way, that's beautiful, you know? I think that they're so, you know, I mean, they spent their whole lives together. They're both in their mid-90s. I mean, they are very much a part of the other, and I don't know that they would... I think, as often as the case, my grandmother might actually be able to do better than my grandfather would being the one left behind. But either way, it wouldn't be good. So um, that's that. And my grandmother, I guess, is still on the respirator. Uh, no real improvements. And she has this heart arrhythmia. And I guess they have tried every treatment they have. Today, they tried the last remaining treatment. That's a lollipop? 
Okay. Um, they have one remaining treatment to do today, and after that, they've exhausted all their treatment for that. And then I don't know what what the, the implication of that is. I don't know if that's you know life and death right there, or if you can live some other way. I don't know. So I will definitely keep everybody updated. You need to clean your hands. Your hands are dirty now because lollipops are sticky. You want your juice? Okay. No. You want me to clean, clean your hands? Okay. This right now. This, clean your, clean your hands. No. No. You want to clean your own hands. You want to wash your own hands? In the sink with soap? Okay. No good grief. Here come the problems. I'm going to get soap on this wash box. So that's what's going on. Um, I don't really know anything, and I can't talk to her. I don't... So... I will say one in one thing, I'm very sad. I'll be sad to miss her. I'm gonna, I'll be sad to lose her whenever that time is going to come. And obviously, I'm you know aware that at 96 it's going to come sometime soon, or rather than later. But I will also say that I'm at peace with my relationship with her, and I do think that that is a lot of what is hard about. Silk, mine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What is hard about a death? is when you have unresolved uh, things to say and um, I don't. I just, I'm actually, you know, I'm very currently close with my grandmother. We talk on the phone all the time. I mean, she's a very important close person to me. So, I mean, yes. I mean, who has a 96-year-old grandmother you can call and talk to for like two hours? She's hilarious. Um, and, you know, so, you know, I will, in that way, I mean, I will. This is Sam, Mom. Okay, you're all clean, hon. Can you pop down from that precarious perch? Okay, you're all clean. Now your hands are going to be slippery. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's move on to another activity. Um, <clears throat> so, where am I at? Oh, gosh, how did I get to be seven minutes already? So, um, you know, in that way, I'm, I'm at peace with my feelings and everything, you know, I, I, I really am. I mean, I really, I mean, I will just be sad to lose her, you know. And, um, what else can I tell you? Um, in, in your hair? Okay, can you go pick some clothes out of your drawers? Go get some clothes for today. Oh, it's balancing. Um, good news, my weight is back down to my range. How'd that happen? I don't know. I'm wondering if the pain meds were actually making me retain water or something, and being off of them is helping with that. Who knows, but I'll take it. Other thing, did I say this already about the pain meds? I'm in better spirits after being off those damn pain meds. The pain meds, meds weren't really alleviating pain. I mean, I think a lot of, some people do well on them and some people don't, and I seem to have some kind of weird resistance to them or whatever, like, they make me feel disconnected, but I still feel the pain, so after a certain while, and I definitely don't want to be on them and be in charge of kids, you know, like, because it is somewhat like being drunk, you know. Um, because it wasn't alleviating the pain anymore enough, and my pain, you know, has subsided enough that I can, I can, I can bear the pain, let's say that. Um, that's, I don't need to be on something for that. Um, I feel better emotionally and more optimistic. So I do think that if possible, they were, bring me down, bring me down. Um, so just something to think about for your own selves, I suppose, if, it, if you're ever in this situation. Um, and I think that that's part of it. The other thing is, I think, you're planning to wear those kitty PJs again? For your outfit? Okay. Okay, that's fine with me. So, those are my reports. And, uh, I'll talk to you soon.